I am very honored to represent the largest population of Armenian Americans outside of Armenia. Today is a very solemn day for my district and for Armenians around the world. It began on April 24th, 1915. For eight long, horrific years, the Armenian nation was subjected to a systematic and premeditated genocide at the hands of the Ottoman Turkish Empire and the Republic of Turkey. These were fathers, mothers, husbands, wives, sisters, brothers, sons and daughters, elderly, adults, and children. 1.5 million Armenians were lost. Hundreds of thousands of Assyrians, Greeks, and other Christians perished in one of the most atrocious violations of human rights in history, in what was considered to be the very first genocide of the 20th century. 108 years later, we are here on the assembly floor to remember the lives lost, the hopes, the dreams, the loves lost during this dark chapter of our shared history. We think also of the lives not lived, of the whole that remains in the soul of the Armenian people, of the symphonies never written, of the children never born, of the cures never found, of the accomplishments never met. We pay our solemn tributes to the victims of these unspeakable crimes against humanity. And let's remember that we are here to renew our eternal vow never to allow genocide to happen on our watch. As elected leaders, as a legislative body, it's our duty to ensure that our nation and our world always recognize genocides as well as the victims. Denying atrocities or remaining silent only enables the perpetrators and invites the continuing reoccurrence of crimes against humanity. Our modern history is sadly full of examples of the perils of silence. Less than a decade after the Armenian Genocide, as Hitler developed his plans for what was to become the Holocaust, he reassured his commanders that they would not face retaliation. He declared, who after all speaks today of the annihilation of the Armenians? Now, we feel that we've come a long way in fighting for recognition and education here in California of all genocides, and certainly the Armenian community here at home in Los Angeles and across California have led the world in getting country after nation to recognize the Armenian genocide for what it was, a premeditated genocide. But our words are empty if we don't also take the steps when more violence is directed and more hatred is directed at any population, including to Armenians today, here at home in the form of hate speech and overseas in Armenia. Because even today, Turkey and its ally Azerbaijan continue to deny the Armenian genocide. In recent weeks, Turkish and Azerbaijani leadership have made hints at erasing Armenia from the world map. So while the Armenian genocide occurred over a century ago, the wounds have not healed, justice has not been served, reparations have not been made, and instead genocidal acts are occurring today. Since December 12th, the historically Armenian people of Artsakh have been living under a blockade by Azerbaijan backed by Turkey. The region's 120,000 Armenians have been living off ration food, medicine, electricity, and gas. Farmers who are simply working in their fields are being shot at. Their machines are being damaged, all towards a goal of denying the Armenians their source of food and income, a slow and painful genocide. Members, a few years ago, I had the honor of visiting Artsakh. I walked those grounds and felt with myself the lifeblood of the Armenian people running through that land. I stood in the middle of churches that dated back to the fourth century that had ancient Armenian writings on the wall. Today, those very same churches are being stripped of their cultural identity, stripped of those uh, historic artifacts so valuable to the whole world in a kind of cultural genocide that is occurring on our watch, along with, of course, the humanitarian crisis and the murders that are happening in that region. And it's up to us to stand up and say no. Just a few weeks ago, this body passed AJR1, led by my colleague from Pasadena, which condemned the blockade that is occurring right now and urged our federal partners to act. Today, I ask that we renew our efforts to remember the genocide of the past and work to prevent another one from occurring on our watch. As we have each anniversary on this floor, we acknowledge the pain that echoes still today. 
We also recognize that whenever one group is marginalized or discriminated against, we all have the duty to speak up and to push back and to fight for justice and equality so that no one will know the pain that our ancestors knew. Over a century later, we are all standing on their shoulders to build a better community, a better California, and a better world for our children and the generations to come. With that, I urge you to reaffirm our humanity and our will to stand with the Armenian people and vote aye on H.R. 26. Thank you.